Hi everybody, yesterday my organisation Autistic Inclusive Meets protested the screening of VAX2, um, a misinformation or propaganda film at the Tabernacle in Notting Hill. Um, VAX2 came out and they filmed us and told us, you know, I said, who are you? Why are you filming us? Do you work for VAX2? No. They did. <laughs> they had the lanyards on, they tried to hide them. And um, Polly Tommy, one of the producers, uh, we waited until the screening had started. It started at six, the doors opened at five. It was raining, it was very cold. We spoke to the security and the manager who said that we would be allowed in once the screening had started. So we went in, we ordered something to eat, got in the warmth, you know, had tea, coffee. And Polly Tommy came down the stairs and saw me and began screaming hysterically, <laughs> get Emma out, Emma's not allowed in here. So the security actually rushed to her and held her back. They, they restrained her and held her back. And uh, I took my phone out because I thought if she's going to try and attack me, you know, I need to film this. And uh, Vax security came rushing over. Oi, put that down. And I said, don't shout at me like that. Who are you shouting at like that? You know, <laughs> right, have you got to shout at anybody like that? Anyway, um, we stayed, we had our food. You know, she went upstairs, tearfully, running and um, did a live saying that we were nutcases and batshit crazy and farmer shells, farmer trolls, that we were paid. No, we weren't paid. We were there to enlighten, to educate, to let people know that actually vaccines do not cause autism because there hasn't been so many studies done. And, you know, they need to look at these studies and understand that actually sex made their children autistic. They had sex, they had an autistic baby and that's what happened now I am actually doing this video because I want to say sorry I want to say sorry to an anti-vax mother who walked past me with her two sons and her husband and I want to say to you I'm sorry that you thought it was appropriate to take your 12 13 year old son in to see something that would tell him that he's vaccine damaged that he's less that he's injured that he needs to be cured. How could you? Do you think he slept well last night? I don't, I don't think he slept well last night. You know, he clung to your arm as you walked him in to see that film. And when I said to you, don't take him to see that. Why is he going to see a film that's gonna tell him that he's injured, that he's damaged? You said he needed to see it. I'm sorry that you pushed your agenda on your son. And I'm sorry that you damaged him psychologically by doing that, and I'm so sorry for him. And as I told him, and yes, I did address him, I said to him that all of us here are autistic and we are not damaged, and neither are you. And it actually made me quite tearful to see that. There were parents in there with newborn babies and slings, there were toddlers being led in and out. It was sickening. And by their own admission in Facebook posts and tweets that I've seen, the film was harrowing. You know, it had death in it and they've taken their children to see a film. And the thing is that that film has no scientific backing, no proof. It's literally scaremongering, manipulation. They say pray big, it's scam big. <laughs> And what worries me most is the quacks that would have been there saying to these parents, you can heal your child, you can recover your child, you can purge your child. You know, trying to sell them God knows what. Collation is the biggest thing that's pushed at anti-vax parents. That, MMS, which you know I campaign against, GC Math, Turpentine even. It's just heartbreaking, for God's sake. Parents, think about what you're doing. You want to go and watch that shit? Go ahead. You go ahead and watch that, all right? You go and have your pity parties and sit in a, a huddle and say, oh, my child's autistic. Don't inflict that on your children, all right? Because as individuals, they have the right to have self-confidence, self-esteem, be built up, know that they are amazing. They don't deserve what you inflicted on them yesterday. They really don't. Do better. Right, do better. Thank you. Bye-bye.